All right, guys, so I just left a call back and now I am going to a casting, but I have like two hours in between. So Jesse came with me and we are going to shoot some photos, but we are gonna do some more of our Q&A in the car. Yes. A few days ago, you guys had left a bunch of questions on a TikTok post and we're gonna go through them right now and answer every single Unless one of them's inappropriate or something. Mo Kanji is her username on TikTok, but her name is Monica. And Monica asked, how did you guys meet each other? So, I will say how I met Jesse, and then Jesse can say how he met me, because he kind of has a different story. I was having a rough day, and somebody that I knew online, we'd been like Instagram friends for a while, I'd never met him though, invited me to be the actress in this short film. And it was a Sunday, and... I was doing it just for a friend, so I was like, you know what, I'll do it, whatever. So I get there and it's just like a group of guys and Jesse is one of them and he's doing photography for his friend. We didn't speak too much, but I did need a jacket because I was really cold and Jesse gave me his jacket. I remember that. And we talked about the clippers because I had a bracelet on that said clippers on it and we're both big sports fans so we kind of like talked about that a little bit. That night, during one of the scenes, they had me jump into a bush and a stick in the bush went two inches into my leg. So I wanted to get the heck out of there because they didn't know what to do. And I didn't want to complain too much. So I ended up leaving without like saying really bye to anyone or talking to anyone. So I just left. That was the first night we officially met each other. But this story that I'm about to tell you guys is crazy. And it's 100% yeah. true. Mm -hmm. Even though some people are like, no way, that's insane. That's such good prices for gas. Do we need gas? So I was at a Clippers game with my buddy. We walked into the stadium and we sat down in our section and this girl walks by. I had never met her before. I didn't even know who she was, but she caught my eye, of course. Then later that night, my buddy and I go to get some food and I pass her in the hallway at Staples Center. And keep in mind, Staples Center is huge. Thousands and thousands of people were there. And I pass her again. She's with another guy. I didn't want to like go up to introduce myself. I'm not, wasn't trying to be rude or, you know, steal her away, but respectful. she she definitely caught my eye. And then we pass each other again later that night in the hallway, which I was like, oh my word, there's that girl again. And as we're leaving Staples Center, she's standing outside by a valet. And I just remember, my, I was sitting in the passenger seat I remember turning my head and like looking and being like, oh my word, there's that girl. And I was like, dang. I was, you know, pretty convinced I would never see her again. But fast forward two weeks and she walks in the door at my friend's house. And little did we know, we both had a mutual friend. Yeah. Introduced us, not on purpose, just no. randomly through pretty much a work situation. Yeah. And yeah, that's, that's how we met. I mean, we didn't say a word to each other until that night at my buddy's house. And even that night, we but. really didn't talk that much. Like I said, again, I was not having a good day. But then the next day, I will say, Jesse did this really cool thing. So any boys trying to slide in a girl's DMs, this is what you do. So he was very casual with it. He wasn't like, hey, let's go out on a date. He was like, hey, so I have some photos for you. If you'd like, I can text you the photo since I was taking photos the whole time on set or I can email you, you know, whichever. And I responded and I was like, here's my email. Cause I didn't want to give she, you my phone number. Cause I liked name. playing hard to get. He was in no rush, which I liked. So he emails me. He says like, Hey, if you want to go hiking or anything like that, I'd love to do that. You know, blah, 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 blah. Cause we had talked about hiking and like sporting events and all sorts of stuff. What are you doing? I'm getting gas. It's really cheap. I'm so... So anyways, so he's emailed me and said, like, if you want to go on a hike or, you know, whatever. It was just super calm. And I was like, okay, here's my number. So in the email, I gave him my phone number. Anyways, the point is, we ended up going to Buffalo Wild Wings for like our first like meetup date-ish to where we actually got to know each other because we were going to watch a Clippers game. The whole entire three, four, five hours that we were there, we spoke about our families and our goals in life and where we come from and all of these beautiful conversations and we just like told each other about who we were and it was just a very easy 
time and we just I don't know it just we meshed really well together and then we went on like five more dates after that and um, and then the three months later year. he asked me to be his girlfriend and then now we're married it's crazy life is crazy it is crazy I just think it's crazy that you saw me two weeks before we actually met yeah it's almost as crazy as these gas prices yeah they're not good okay gassed up ready for the next question yeah that was chaos i was driving no jesse does this he can't stay I focused i saw a good price on gas and i said you know what i need to get that Come so on, also man. i have to say that another person asked how we met and that was sanana 1200 so sanana i'm answering for you Thank as well you question. how long have you been together we have been together three years three years and one, one month. month three years Dating, and one month married all together all together next question Oh, that question was by Ava Lynn Seven. Thanks, Ava Lynn Seven. Next one is Katie Lloyd Twenty Two. When did you start TikTok, and why? I started TikTok in October of 2018, so almost a year ago. And I started because two of my friends on the app were talking about it, and they kind of got me into it. And I didn't really understand what I was doing, or I thought it was kind of odd at first, and I was like should I be doing this and then one of my videos did really really well and I was like this is insane how cool this app is like that you can just make these fun videos that are trending and then you just all of a sudden they one goes viral and you're like a thing and you get a ton of followers like, to me it was crazy and just such a different um, platform from any of the other platforms that are around right now like Facebook or snapchat or Instagram so I really enjoyed that aspect of it so that's why I started and that's when I started, Katie Lloyd. Next question, when are you going to get kids? When are we going to get kids? That's what it says, um, that's by High Love Kids. When they go on sale, I guess, maybe. Yeah, we're uh, really big into. We've been looking for a while. Coupons and yeah, good deals, buy one, so. Yeah, one free. If there's like a baby. If you guys know of any baby. discount yeah, or clearance, yeah. we're, we're about it. Uh, when are we gonna have kids? I'm gonna say that that's, what they meant by that question? Yeah. Um, I mean, we're... That's a good question. Actually. That is a good question when we're going to have kids. That. We don't really... I don't think we really have control over that. I think if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But ideally, if right now we're not really trying to have kids currently, yeah. but I'd say in probably two or three years, we're going to start actively trying to have a little baby. Okay, next question is what's your favorite animal by Piper Potato 4? My favorite animal is our dog. <laughs> I would agree with that. Animal species, I would say it's a close one between a gorilla, a giraffe, and a penguin, and a dog. All four of those are my favorite. Okay, next question is by Harshini S08. Have you guys ever fought? If so, what's your silliest fight? Oh, we've definitely fought. We have fought, because <laughs> we're both very opinionated and we, we love each other a lot and we're both very passionate about what we believe in and what we're doing and we're always on the same page about things, but we'll fight over stupid stuff, but- We don't fight a lot. We don't we fight don't. a lot, but we, we've of course fought. We bicker like an old married couple and it's really funny because yeah. people around us like will crack up at our fights because we're just like, He'll say something stupid, and I'm like, why would you say that? And he's like, what? And then it, it just escalates from there. It's funny. What's oh, the silliest fight? Silliest fight? Something that we finish our fights with, we always laugh at the end of our fights. Yeah. Like, I'll be really mad, and Jesse will just, like, peek his head into the room and smile at me. She'll be and then I'll really start mad. <laughs> giggling, and then we just laugh, and then we're fine. So. Oh, we fight about stupid Like, the, we don't, I, I don't want to call it fighting. We bigger no. about like things that are left out or like we've gotten in a so, fight over the side of the bed that we sleep yeah, on because I like the outside of the bed and, and I like the outside of the bed puts me on the inside so we play cards every night and whoever wins the card game gets to sleep gets on the to sleep outside, on outside of, the bed. of the bed so it's fun it avoids any it's we like if you, win, if you win you win you yeah. can't argue you can't argue with the win that was right. earned so you got to respect the outcome exactly wow we totally changed office, didn't we? It's actually the same day. Yeah, we just went and took photos and changed it's nearly, the product It's nearly the same hour, but we changed. 
Okay, As guys, I actually have a casting right now, so you no. can continue talking. I have this special trick where I can change while people watch, and you don't see a single thing, and I'm completely modest still. So, let's continue. Okay. It's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. It has nothing to do with the Q&A, but... Now you know. Babe, this is really important for women to understand. Because there's always those girls that are like, but my bra's gonna show. Or what are you here for? Uh, a casting. All right. We're 30 minutes early. We are always early. We were early in the baby shower. We're early here. We're early to all my castings, which I really I'll do find like a that. place to park. Where's my makeup? It's in the back. Uh, Will you get it for me? This reminds me of uh, that show Cash Cab. We should just you know? pick people up and say, hey, we'll give you 50 bucks if you get this answer right, and if they get it right, they get it, and if they don't, then we have to drop them off. By the way, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Most importantly, if you've already subscribed, like the video. If you have done neither, do both. And leave a comment. Just something funny. You can be like, your hair oh, looks awful. Sorry about that. Don't know Come why. on, Fabio. You'd think I was in like Hawaii or something. Um, Oops, and I buttoned the wrong button. Alright, we need to turn the camera off because we're getting unruly oh and delusional. We oh, it's from, every day at 4 o'clock. I'm so tired. It's, it's from Zoe B. And she asks, do we watch Stranger Things? And if so, who's our favorite character? That's a great question. Yes, we watch Stranger Things. We love Stranger Things. What's funny though is we didn't get into it until about three months ago. Two months ago. Two months ago. One month ago. One month ago. We binge watched all the seasons right back to back, which was really cool, because all these other people had to wait years to see the next one, yeah, but we got the whole thing in we one. We binged it like a couple weeks before the um, third season came out, and it's awesome. We love it. So, who's your favorite character? Right. My favorite character <laughs> is Elle. Because I think she's like super awesome and like a strong girl and like yeah. she's been through a lot. It's like kids who go through a lot with like divorces or just personal struggles and they they make something of themselves. I feel like Elle's a good example of that. So that's, that's kind of why I like her. I like Mike because I think he's trying to figure himself out and I think he's a really, Finn Wolfhard is a really quirky, like twitchy actor. It's so like in the third season he's like, Guys, Elle's doing this and I love her. And he like moves every time. I just think it's really funny every time he talks and his head's always down. He's like, yeah. I like it. Oh, I like Hopper. Hopper's cute. I like him. Oh. His I personality forgot. is awesome. Yes, he's awesome. But of people under 18, Elle is his favorite. Mike is my favorite. And of people over 18, we both like Hopper. And the crazy guy that's like the, the curly haired guy. The one that's balding and has the beard. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Tigator? Phoenix 600,000 asks, what is one thing you hate to eat? Honestly, any vegetable. I don't like vegetables. Mushrooms, uh, broccoli. For me, it's spinach. And so she makes these really delicious smoothies with a bunch of spinach, supposedly. Yeah. Spinach is like the only vegetable I'll eat because it doesn't have a taste and it, it's hidden really well with other flavors. So I put spinach in all of the food I eat every day and I hide it with rice and beans and chicken flavor and salsa. So you can't taste the spinach, but the texture is disgusting. It's like snot. Like I think it's gross. But in a smoothie, you can't taste it either, which I really like. So a smoothie. bunch of you guys asked how many kids we want. That's a good question. Um, 17. I'm just kidding. Definitely not 17. I don't know. We don't really have a number out there. I mean, I want to make sure that um, it's manageable and, like, we're able mm -hmm. to provide for our kids. But I would three say, or like, four, yeah. Three or four hundred. I think four is a really good number because I was part of two. He was is a part of seven kids, so right in the middle, like four. Seven was a lot. Seven is a lot, and it I don't like a middle child, and he's chaotic. the middle child, and like we see how he turned out. So I would say four because there's no middle what does child. That mean? It means you're very special. I don't know how to respond to that. It's a compliment. 
I, there's nowhere for me to go if it was a... Whoa! I just rear-ended this car. Oh, yawn. What's our favorite Starbucks drink? We don't go to Starbucks that often. I, I love Dunkin' Donuts because Jesse got me started on it. Shout out, Dunkin'. But when I go to Starbucks occasionally, I will get their chai tea latte with oh, yeah, almond milk, fun. which is yummy. Or I'll just get like... I used to be obsessed with their matcha green tea lattes. That's what I remember you would always get. Oh, I was obsessed. And you I was drink just it like, like two minutes. downing milk. And they were like $6. Yeah. I don't drink Starbucks. Um, if I were to go there, because it's like the only thing that's around me, I would probably just get a coffee, maybe an iced coffee. But uh, we yeah, we don't really drink Starbucks. No, not Starbucks people. I, I'm sorry. And uh, our wallet definitely thanks us for that. Favorite vacation you've been on together by Munchie Fun Oh, I Bunchy. saw this question and I was very torn on it because we just got back from our honeymoon. What? I know, I know, I know. But so we went to the Dominican Republic for our honeymoon and it was amazing. What other vacation could even touch the that? Was so there are so many differences the between reason that I cruise with the, 100 something no, people. The reason I enjoyed the cruise was because we had just gotten engaged and it was like a totally new part of our life. Um, and so was the honeymoon. Getting engaged is a huge part of your life. It is. It's a huge commitment that you're like promising to make somebody. I so. can see that, but in one of the vacations we slept in the same bed and in one of the vacations we did not. So I like the honeymoon better. Yeah, the honeymoon was amazing. We went to Punta Cana and just pretty much We literally laid, on the, laid on the beach, slept on the beach, went to our room, went back to the beach, drank, ate, ate. a lot. Riding. We went bike riding around Dominican, which was so cool. Someone asked why we got married. Uh, that's a good question. I know a lot of people don't always get married, but mm -hmm. um, it's something that was important to us. And we talked about it on our first it's date. That it's something a, we were both that was on our mind about getting married in the future. Because some people are like, I'm never getting married. And Both of our parents, both of our families, they, uh, my parents have been married for like 40 years. Her parents have been married for Almost close to 30. 30. Yeah. So marriage in our families is something that's just been very like important. Yeah, and we both have great examples of love and commitment and yeah. loyalty and honesty. And it's just... Um, don't look really at beautiful. Don't look at marriage as a bad thing. No. It's something if you're not careful can have a negative impact on you. So right. if you're patient about it and you make the right decisions and you're smart about it. Yeah. I love Jesse and Jesse is the right person for me just like I'm the right person for him and we both make each other such better people on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and while we both annoy the crap out of each other sometimes, we both, once we came into each other's lives, I mean, so many amazing ha things happened for me personally, and I know that amazing things happened for you as well. Thank you so much for watching our Q&A video. Um, be sure to like and subscribe and comment. If you found something funny, comment what you thought was funny on this video and put what time it was in the video so that other people can go to that part and watch it and laugh if they don't have time to watch the whole video. Be sure to like the video since we are a new channel. We want to have, um, what do you think? I don't know. It really, I, I think you're, you're finished my well, It helps us if you like our videos and no, you it like does. our content it because it, it pushes it, it, it suggests it to other people. It does and it lets us it. know that like you're actually enjoying yeah. our stuff so that we're not wasting our breath and time If you don't like the video, you don't have to like the video. We're not trying to force yeah. you to like the video. Yeah, no, of course not. But we'd really appreciate it if you did. Also, please subscribe um, so that you get notifications when we are going to post and turn those notifications on. All of that mumbo jumbo palumbo. But we appreciate you guys very much for your support and thinking anything that we do is cool because we're just normal weirdos in Los Angeles living our lives and sharing it with you guys. So thank you for the support and love and we love y'all and stay tuned for our next video. Bye! Bye.